Welcome to another week and another edition of the Encouraging Words for School Counselors podcast. I'm Matt Fleck with Inspire Success. Thanks for being with us. Hey, before we start, just a note that we realize for so many of you, the start of this school year has been a major challenge for some even greater than last year, and that was bad enough. We know there's very little we can do, but we do recognize it's been a tough year for you, even though it's only September, and we hope this podcast can be a little bright spot in your otherwise challenging week. Once again, this week's podcast is sponsored by Cooter. Cooter ensures that people of all ages can unlock the power of their own potential and create a bright future. One of Cooter's many career specialists around the country is Tiffany Huey, who is not only a school counselor, but a career development coordinator at Dixon High School in Holly Ridge, North Carolina. There has long been an assumption with career readiness work, according to Tiffany, that helping students identify possible careers will prepare them for college. But Tiffany says she's seen a broader focus in her career exploration efforts. I feel like with the shift that's happening in our, and I feel like honestly in our country, but especially in our area, we're shifting more towards college is great, but what do you want to do and which colleges have those programs? Or what do you want to do? And if a four-year university isn't what you want to do, let's find you a path. Let's find you a two-year program. Let's find you a training program, something to get your feet off the ground and make sure that you're going to be successful in what you want to do. And that shift, helping students connect their interests with possible careers first, and then looking at what education or training will help them achieve their career goal, whether it's college or not, is what Tiffany does with a program called College Match. Administered by teachers at Tiffany's High School, College Match allows students a different way to look at the possible education or training pathways that might be best for them. So we did that with our juniors. And I mean, we had a couple students who were like, I'm going to Harvard. Yes, except that I don't know that your class rank is going to potentially allow for that. Um, And so those are tough conversations. And the teacher was like, I always feel so guilty in that situation to be real with the student and be honest and, and make sure they have another plan and not just blindly be like, of course you can. She said, you know, like, obviously I want every student to feel like they can succeed and chase their dreams. But then also at the same time, just that reality piece of it too, of that's awesome. You want that, but they have some requirements. I don't know if you're going to meet. And so when we did college match with our students, she was like, this program just made me not be the bad guy. Like this program's the bad guy. (laughs) But that was so eye-opening for the students. It's one of those things that like, just like anything else in education, like you can tell a student 15 times the same thing, but this program all of a sudden said it and they were like, oh my gosh, I might need to look at something different or, hey, I can get into that school. And I was like, I haven't been telling you that for a month. It's fine. (laughs) Another of Tiffany's favorite online career readiness tools is the work values inventory. Now, I've used it many times with students and was never really sure if the information stuck with those students or not. But Tiffany's experience is quite the opposite. Once you get your results and you click on the value, it will go through questions you should ask at your interview that are related to that value that show you like more about that workplace. So one of my top one is coworkers. When I click on it, it says when you go for an interview, you should ask questions like, is there opportunity for collaboration in the workplace? Will I get to work with other people? Am I going to be expected to work alone? And actually just a couple of weeks ago, I ran into a student in our, in our little town and they were like, Hey, I actually went for a job interview last week and I used Cooter work values to ask questions at the interview. Cause we always preach them, like take questions, like make sure you have something to ask their research, their company, look into it. And they said, I asked some of those questions too, but I specifically asked ones that related to my work values. And I was like, are you kidding me? And they were like, no, I really did. Like, I wanted to make sure that the uh, my lifestyle would be supported. And I was like, oh my God, you're 17 years old. <laughs> like, and you're using questions based off this for your lifestyle at your workplace. So it was really funny. Like I went back to my car cracking up, but so how cool is that, that our students are legitimately using this resource that it's impacting them as much that they've used it for their own job interview. It's another case of we never quite know out of all the interactions we have with kids every day, just which ones will have a positive impact down the road. Thanks to Tiffany for sharing her stories and to Cooter Incorporated for sponsoring our podcast this week. To find out more about Cooter, visit them at cooter.com slash inspire. Cooter, leading the industry in career guidance and college readiness. We're asking you this week to tell us 
What has been the most challenging thing for you over the past several months with the start of school? Just a short answer will do. You can just email it to me, one line or one word. Let me know at matt at inspiresuccess.org. Hey, hang in there and have a great week.